Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hi, my name is Ivy, and here I talk about all things nursing school, aesthetics, and skincare. I am now a new grad from an accelerated nursing program, so I thought that I would share with you guys 10 things I wish I knew before starting the program. Number one, I wish I knew that financial aid would not help with tuition. So in case you guys didn't know, one of the requirements for uh, applying to an accelerated nursing program is that you have to have a previous bachelor's degree. What that means is that usually financial aid will help with your first degree, but once you complete your first bachelor's degree, it won't help you with any other ones. So because the accelerated nursing program is technically a second degree, financial aid won't really help with tuition in that sense. So it does end up being a little bit more expensive. Fortunately, there's still scholarships and grants available, so I would highly recommend that you take advantage of those and apply to whichever ones you qualify, which is what I did, and it helps me tremendously. I applied to scholarships every single semester, and I got one every single semester. I also had some scholarship money that I had left over from my first degree, so that definitely helped as well. So if you're still completing your uh, first bachelor's program, I would highly suggest that you apply to as many scholarships as you can and if you have any leftovers save that and use it towards your nursing degree afterwards number two select what apply as you guys may know already from like all the memes online about this or like just everybody venting about it and ranting about it it is honestly uh, some of the hardest questions on our exams and it's basically when the answer to a question can be one or it can be all of them. Sometimes some professors may put five selections, you know, like five uh, multiple choices. Basically, it's really stressful because you really have to think, you really have to critically think and apply all of the knowledge that you've learned so far. It's hard, it's hard. I remember when we first started getting those kind of questions during my level one, everybody was not happy because it was the reason why so many people's grades ended up dropping. But I would highly suggest that you start familiarizing yourself with that style of questioning because it can be very difficult on exams and it's also on the NCLEX so you definitely need to familiarize yourself with it and practice those kinds of questions. Number three, clinicals. So I kind of wish I knew that when it comes to clinicals, students are most likely not going to have a say on where they go. They just randomly assigned us to a clinical, meaning that we didn't have a say in the location, the distance, the hours, or even the type of unit we were gonna be in. So this was frustrating for a lot of people because sometimes they would be assigned to a clinical that was an hour and a half away to two hours away or they would be assigned in a unit that they weren't very interested in or it was just financially burdensome because they would have to pay for a lot of tolls so the way that my program did it is that once you got the, the schedule and everybody saw where they were assigned if you found someone within the cohort that was willing to switch with you then both students would have to contact administration and then they would switch the two of you. But it was kind of difficult finding someone who was willing to switch with you because sometimes certain people were okay with the farther location because the instructor who was teaching that clinical was very, very kind and known to being very, very knowledgeable and helpful to their, to their students. Whereas sometimes a clinical that was actually closer to you had a clinical instructor that had a rep of being very tough on students so but you know that just comes with the program you kind of just have to suck it up and go through it as a student fortunately i got placed in clinical rotations that i really enjoyed and all of my instructors were very helpful but yeah that might be something that could happen to you number four hesse exams so every semester we get something called a hesse exam and it's given for every class Usually they give us two HESI exams per class per semester. Basically the HESI exam is kind of like a NCLEX review exam. Like it really tests your understanding of material in general so far that you've learned in nursing school. The thing with these kinds of exams is that the professors have no say in what the exams have in it. The exams are provided by this third party and no one gets to see this until the day of the exam. Like not even the professors know what is in the exam. This stuff actually, like, it counts towards our grades. So sometimes people were frustrated because, you know, we would do terrible on these exams because majority of the content in it had to do about stuff that we hadn't even learned yet. So it kind of would affect our grades. Fortunately, our professors were kind of, you know, nice about it. So they would try and help us gain points through other ways. But for the most part, the HESI exams, like they kind of prepare you to familiarize yourself with what the NCLEX will be like and also to evaluate your um, 
chances of passing the NCLEX on your first try. So just be wary of that. Number five is the grading scale. So you guys may be familiar with the undergrad grading scale, which is, you know, from 90 to 100, that's an A. From 80 to like an 89 is a B. So nursing school is not like that. Depending on which program that you go to, some programs expect you to get a 94 and above to have an A. Some, I think like a B is like an 88 and up, I've heard. Luckily, my program was actually very nice about that. I believe an 89.5 and up was an A. I know they were a little bit nicer about it compared to other schools, but the reason being that they're just, it's such a rigorous program that like, you'd be surprised how easy it is to miss an A or even a B with these exams. Like it's very difficult. So, so just be prepared for the slight changes in the grading system depending on how rigorous your program is and depending on what grading system they have in place. Number six is I wish I knew how the classes work in nursing programs. Most classes consist of a lecture, a lab, and a clinical rotation. So the lecture portion of the class is going to be the part that you're most familiar with, which is when you go into a classroom, you sit down and you listen to an instructor lecture about different topics and different materials. The clinical lab is basically where you go into a classroom and you practice hands-on all of the skills that you learned about in lecture. So for example, this is where we learned about our head to toe, setting up an IV, giving injections, inserting a catheter, things like that. And then the clinical rotation is where you take everything that you learned in your lecture class and in your labs and then practice it in person with real patients in a hospital. Now you have to be very, very careful with clinical rotations because a lot of schools have certain things that, is, that qualifies as an immediate expulsion from the program basically and typically it's if you hurt a patient if you give the wrong medication that hurts a patient or if a patient suffers from a fall because you forgot to put the rail up or you forgot to leave the call bell within reach things like that it's very serious and you can easily get kicked out from a program so you have to be very careful with that make sure that you know these things that the program asks you to know for sure because you don't want to accidentally make a mistake and then get kicked out of the program another thing to know about lab is that you will most likely have a skills checkoff so in my level one semester you guys are probably familiar with this from my level one video but I had to do a head-to-toe assessment and it was very nerve-wracking, especially that one because it's like the very first skills checkoff that we had and it was also the longest one. Like there was so much stuff that we had to remember for that. Number seven, I wish I knew how fast this program would be. So you guys are probably familiar with the fact that nursing school is extremely hard and there's just so much info being thrown at us especially like in the regular traditional program where it's four years that in itself is already difficult but the accelerated nursing programs are just so much more difficult in my opinion only because we're trying to learn all that material in a span of like 14 months like it is just jam-packed with info so just be aware that it's going to be information overload especially during the semesters where you're learning a lot of the tougher classes such as patho, farm, med surge or you know adult health just be aware that's going to be a lot of information Information in a short amount of time and you're probably not gonna have time for you know hanging out with friends or family and stuff like that and that is the perfect segue for number eight which is I wish I knew how little time I would have for family and friends so like I said earlier this program you're just gonna be eating and breathing nursing school you're gonna have so many assignments so many deadlines so many exams to study for that you're simply not gonna have enough time to be spending you know, hanging out with friends and family and whatnot. Personally, I would only spend time with family and friends during my breaks and during my very last semester of the program just because at the very end, it was mostly just clinical rotations and it wasn't so much like hardcore like classes and exams back to back. Like it was in the very beginning. So just be aware that you most likely won't have enough time to spend with family and friends like you usually do. Number nine, I wish I knew how much drama happens in nursing school. <laughs> so this is something that I didn't think I would come across in this program, but unfortunately, there was drama everywhere. Like during my level one semester, like there was so much drama. It was kind of ridiculous. Like there are some people that are just super competitive that, you know, they don't want to share their, you know, material or like their notes or anything because they want to get the best grades in the class. And it's like, you know, like, I never understood that mentality because it's like, how is my grade going to directly affect you? Like, you know, like, it's not. We're all here 
trying to get to this program like we're all here with the same goal of just passing the program and passing the NCLEX and becoming the best nurses that we can be so like I, I never understood that mentality of like that competitiveness or like comparing exam grades or like you know it was it's just ridiculous <laughs> You're probably gonna lose some friends. Like some people will probably stop talking to you for for no reason. Honestly, it's just so <laughs> dumb. But with that being said, just know that you will also meet some of the best people in the program, and you will most likely become like lifelong friends. And to this day, I'm still so grateful of my level three group, and I love them so much. With that being said, number ten. I wish I knew the amazing friends that I would make during the program. So as I said in my level 3 video, which you guys can watch here, I mentioned that level 3 was honestly like... Level 3 was the hardest semester in the program, but personally it was also the best semester for me because that is where I got to meet all of my current friends from the program that I still keep in touch to this day. You want to find a group that you truly click with, that everybody can study together and truly help each other out like this is the group where I felt like I could really open up to them about like any concerns and I also felt comfortable asking them questions about stuff that I didn't understand and I wasn't made to feel stupid or like less than or anything like that because at the end of the day like we're all trying to learn the same stuff and and that's how it should be like it should just be an open, friendly, positive vibe of people truly trying to help each other so that we can just all get through it. Because at the end of the day, this is not a competition. Like, we're just trying to get through this program, okay? So yeah, I love my level 3 group. I'm so grateful for them. They help me so much and they are the smartest kids on the block. <laughs> like, I really appreciate them so much. And if you guys are watching this, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for helping me get to where I am today. Alright guys, and that is it. I hope this was helpful for you. If you are currently on your journey to applying to nursing schools, then good luck. I would recommend you watch this video here where I share what I did to make myself more competitive when applying to nursing programs. And if you have any questions, just comment in the section down below and I'll get to all your questions and try and help as much as I can. By the way, I forgot to mention, do you guys like my hat? This is so cute. It's like little like boxes on them. <laughs> I thought this was the cutest thing. This is from Dr. Wolf. Isn't that so cute, Dr. Wolf? Like a like a dog wolf. <laughs> Anyways, I'm not sponsored. I just thought they were so cute and this is what I'm going to be wearing when I start working just to keep my hair out of the way so I can focus on my patients and giving the best care as possible. But I thought it was so cute, so I decided to wear it today. <laughs> but anyways, that is it. I hope you guys find this video helpful. Um, if you like videos like this, then give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. Also, turn on your notification bell if you would like to get notified whenever I post new videos. Alright, thank you for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!